Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today, um, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to outfit the King Crab that we picked up in the last episode. Um, I pushed him up a little bit in the uh, repairs. So we've got him right here. Um, and his repair time will be 16 days. So if you look at the tasks here. So I pushed him up. I'm moving all our heavy guys up. The ones that would need to get repaired faster rather than and slower. So the king crabs up here. Um, these three mech bays are working 100% right now. So this guy will get done in 16 days, which is excellent. Um, but right now, what we're going to do, since we got a little bit of time before the end of the before the financial report, we're going to go and take a quick mission with our medium lance, and we're going to do capturing production. It's got a good sea bill payout. Um, so we're just going to negotiate this. We're going to go 50/50. I want to get some good sea bills out of this. Um, we're going to need some in the coming months, so we're going to do this and accept and we're going to flush out the main lance and we're going to bring in the secondary lance so we're going to go um, the Yager mech's got a double gauss rifles I think because we're at three skulls we're going to run this as the boss mech in this particular lance and then we've got our ultra 10 auto cannon hunchback we could run we've got the bushwhacker with um, the PPCs and the ultra 5 which we definitely want to put in here um, what else we got? We got our Shadow Hack, Shadow Hawk, and our Wolverine. I think we're probably going to bring the Wolverine in. Um, yeah, those LRM15s, not bad. Well, I want the Ultra 10 or LRM15s. This guy's got the NSS too, right? Um, pretty stealthy. So let's avoid damage this time. We're going to go the Shadow Hawk again. And I think we'll run this Lance. Yeah. So we're going to want to run... Where are you here? Where are you, girl? Oh, Raider's out. Why was she out? I can't remember why. Rico, I guess you're going to be running this lance, buddy. All right, so let's put you in as the main pilot. Um, Warlock, I'm going to put you in Shadowhawk, I think. And then Riddler. Let's get you in the Bushwhacker. No, Hogweed usually runs the Bushwhacker, I think. So put you in the Hunchback, Hogweed the Bushwhacker, uh, and let's run this Lance and get this sucker done. Alright. Going after these pirates. So in today's episode of Funky Steve's Medina's, I got threatened by a bunch of pirates, the local pirate organization, because we're moving in on their turf, I guess. So they, so they threatened us. So that's kind of funny. Um, let's get up here. Something dead. Soon to be dead, that is. I could have sensor locked, but not really that much point at this at this moment. Ah, it's just vehicles. But we're here for the we're here for the sea bills. So that's all that matters. Kind of like in the loader on this hunchback. Lots of chevrons of evasion. Has the ultra 10. Good speed. Okay, four vehicles. Oh, stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Okay, get the trees. So I've been thinking about how we're going to uh, basically end this series and then continue on next time. I'm not going to do a continuation of Cold of Cold Forge. I was thinking about doing a uh, a uh, a continuation called Colder Forged, um, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, I got a different theme for the next uh, series, running in the newest version of uh, Rogue Tech. So um, yeah. Hopefully, you'll, hopefully you guys will like it. And I'm thinking for this for this series, I think what we're going to try and do is end off in the Clan and Homeworlds. So before we finish the series up, episode 100 will be us making our way to the Clan Homeworlds. So that's my goal anyway. All right, let's get in here. Let's get some eyes on. The area isn't clear. Oh, shut it, Darius. So Manicore. Huh. 
Nothing really threatening on that guy, but lots of armor. Boom box. Got a boomstick, lots of armor. Fulcrum. Yeah. So let's sensor lock. Um, well, let's send, sensor lock the mana core because we can go before him. See if we can crush that guy before he gets a chance to do too much. Okay. Let's give him something fast to worry about again. Yeah, you run away, buddy. You just run away. Oh, he's trying to block the other guy. I'm receiving you. Alright, so we're going to move up the hunchback right into here. Let's give them something else to shoot for rather than our other guys that are going to be coming up. I'm going to dump everything into the side of this guy. Uh, how much armor does he have? 165, eh? So let's do a warlord on this. Hit him for as much damage as we can. Okay, not bad. He had damage reduction, but we got the most out of it as we could. Yeah, you back up. You just back up and run away. Okay, at least the tag missed. Ready for orders. I'm listening. All right, let's get in here. Same thing, Warlord. We'll try and get rid of this guy before he gets a chance to move. That'll do it. There we go. So it looks like it's going to be Fulcrum next. Oh, what's this, Vedette? How much armor does this guy have? Not a whole lot. He's a stone throws away of dying here. Uh, let's get into here. Really low chance to hit, though. But better than the other guy, so let's just shoot on him. Wow. Five points damage, huh? <laughs> sure. Five is better than zero, I guess. Alright, where are you going, buddy? Alright, let's squash this guy like a bug. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Target destroyed. Thank you. Better not shoot me in the back. Oh. Hi Riddler. Let's hammer this boombox. He's becoming a harasser now. We don't want that. Good to go. Let's move. Yeah, it's stay out in the open. We've got a better chance to hit then. Not much, it's plus one, but still. Affirmative. Nice. Water. Oops. Not there. Right there is good, hey, though. Uh, not bad chance to hit, either. Wow. <laughs> what are you shooting, buddy? What are you shooting at? He's a good step away from being squashed, so... I'll stop it with your target acquired. 78. He's got a lot of armor. Okay. Uh, Warlock. I know we're kind of turning our back to that guy, but... Nice. Nice. 
Vehicle kill for me. Vehicle kill for you. Vehicle kill for everybody. Receiving you. You get a kill. You get a kill, and you get a kill. I will be done. I'm walking here. Oh, come on. Waiting for order. Location confirmed. Um, let's just do this. Make it easier on us. I bet you're gonna like this. Wow. We actually hit this. <laughs> he hit with a gun. Uh, I've got eyes on of course you do. I didn't think it was going to hit with the uh, offensive push. I was just trying to push him back a turn so we could just squash him, but... Uh, let's work together, guys. Don't get in front of everybody. Commander. I live to serve. I am the wind. You are the wind. You break wind, too. That's why we bring you on more missions. Everybody wants you off the ship. Okay, 60 tonner. Finally, we got something good. What's up, Commander? What's up with you? Understood. Moving fast. Hit with them gosses this time, please. Alright, so... I'm your spaniel. It's nice that we got Riddler with some good speed here. Can kind of identify targets before um, Warlock moves in to punch them. Standing by. Full speed, no target. Okay, we got our, our um, Warlord back again. So there's only three. There should be one more, I think. 45 tonner, 50, 60. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get into a range where we can punch these guys. Yeah, there he is right there. 100 ton. Okay, so I was thinking about coming this way, but because there's a 100 tonner over there, I'm going to move up this way. Wouldn't that be great if it's like a Marauder 2 or something? I think we got a bunch. I should have checked how many Marauder 2 parts we have. Then we could feel the King Crab and a Mar Marauder 2. Start doing five skull missions. Okay, now the gloves are off. Yes, Commander. I think we want to ID everybody. Let's move. Okay. Ah, it's an asshat. We got asset parts too. Quick draw. Got quick draw parts. Phoenix Hawk. Don't care. I think it's going to be the. Uh, nope. Not you. This guy. This guy here. Now, do we want to take a uh, offensive push on him? No, we want to fire. Make him unstable here. Okay. Just don't want to risk missing him. Okay, crab, eh? Moon, walking. The original crabs were kind of, they're kind of cool, but run they run hot with those two large lasers. Like he just fired three weapons and he's like heats almost at max. He's got one more turn before he's overheating. Commander. Commander. Location confirmed. Nice. Oh, nice. It was both of them. You're gonna melee or shoot? You're gonna shoot. No, you're gonna melee. Yeah, I guess with like seven chevrons of evasion, it's probably better to melee. Seven or six? How many do we have? Six, right? 
Seven. Oh, didn't think we could get seven. Learn something new every day. Uh, we've got to start targeting this asshat. Roger. So, what's our chance to hit here? Pretty darn good. Let's warlord it up. Fire straight on this guy. Got it. Okay, good start. Uh, not bad for being unstable. Yeah, what can I do you for? That's what my boss says to me too. Uh, you're not bad for being completely unstable. All right, let's. Um, yeah. Head hit, head hit. No. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice head hit. A critical hit. All right. Knock his ass down. You bet your asteroid, kid. So I'm definitely want to try to maximize asset parts. Systems holding. It's because that evasion. See, the reason why you gotta call this guy an asshat, AS5, HAT, like come on, that looks like an ass, right? Asshat? He's an ash hat. Um, okay, Riddler. Let's eliminate some of these jerks here first. Still within good, good range here, so we're gonna move into here. I should probably push this guy back a turn. I'm not gonna waste the resolve though. Oh. We'll take the kill. Go down. That's right, man. You come out, you draw, look him straight in the back, and then shoot him. Okay, can you strike yeah. the ass hat? You can. Let's start on the asset. Let's get some instability on him. Yeah, man. Hit him. Yeah. He's drunk. You need both of these guys. Okay, so we're going to multi target. Once I can figure out where the camera is. Here and here. And the auto cannon's going to be. I'm gonna fire. Got it. That'll put him on the ground. Okay. Something I can do. Yeah, there's something you can do. Let's get over here. Gonna go for the headshot, because why not? On nope. Now this guy was full armor, I think, wasn't he? He's got both of his torsos damaged. Okay, good shooting. Seven chevrons of evasion. He got up from being knocked down, and he still hit. Give credit where credit's due, that's what I say. Are you gonna turn your back to that one? <laughs> you dumbass. Give me more than heat critical in a second. Give me damage critical. Yipper. Wow, that many misses, huh? Where are you going? I think he's yet to hit. I'd like to say he's not really a threat, but that's just not true. I'm 
think that was a torso hit. Oh, what do we get? Anything? No, he's unstable. Yes, Commander. All right, same thing. B gets the ultra. I copy. Going down again. Should be down to three or five. Receiving you. Okay. Let's multi this out again. Well. Seven left there, eh? All right, let's. We're gonna, we want to focus on that guy, so let's multi-target. Let's hit this guy and this guy, and B is just gonna get the light machine guns. Hopefully, we get a head hit, uh, or maybe we take that torso or something. I don't know. We'll fire. I got him. Yeah. Punishment. Come on, head hit. You got three PPCs? Oh yeah, you do, I guess. ER, PPZ, PPC. Devil's AC20. Okay, so let's... I'm listening. <sighs> Ready for order. Primitive. Let's get inside your minimum range if we can. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the back. Primitive. Yeah, so, I mean, Rogue Tech is definitely a way different game now. That guy still hasn't hit yet. With the new updates, it's such a tougher game, but it's a better game. Receiving you. Right here. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it when it gets difficult. Let's attack here. Gonna get sure. Cross hit him. Nice. One of five. Okay. Waiting for orders. Um, this guy shut down. Let's Order. see if we can finish him up here. CT hit. Target's taking a critical hit. Going down. Maybe we get an explosion in the back. Nope. Bust an ah. Alright. Don't want to completely destroy this guy, but we're going to go for a headshot. Come on. Nope. He lost the Devil's AC, right? Yeah, he doesn't have much left. Um, where are you here? Commander. Commander. Hit him on the side. Come on, knock him down. Standing by. Acknowledge. Okay, that guy's gone. That's a kill. I'm ready. Gotta knock him down, buddy. Just knock him down. Oh. Oh come on, this game's rigged. That's what I was thinking. And fire. Fire. Spilly check fail. He's going down. That is it. He's he's gonna bail out. Or die. Done. Nicely done, guys. Okay, let's get in this. Let's get in that uh, hex and get out of here. Orders. 
That wasn't so bad. Bad decisions by the AI cost them that pretty much. No shooting, just running. I'm finding that the the new version, the AI is much better at making good better decisions. It doesn't have to move in anymore. Mission successful. All right, guys. Mission increased by 10%. Nice. That covers our drop cost for sure. And we got 9,000 or 900,000 sea bills. Uh, okay, XP. No one got injured, which is great. All right, and we're going to take the asset parts. I don't really care what else is down here. I know we don't really have a lot of Atlas parts at the moment. There's nothing really down here that we absolutely need to have. Yeah. So we're going to take the asset parts, and hopefully we got a couple more. I know for sure we've got two Atlas parts, but we might have a few more. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we got an extra one. Okay, good. Crab part. Um, AC2. Large laser. Ah. And yeah, we're back. 31,000. Not bad. Alright, so we got a little bit of repairs to do here. Um, so let's crank up what we wanted to get cranked up here. I'm kind of shocked that it doesn't drop the uh, the new repairs at the end. It drops them at the beginning, which is kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So 15 days, we got the crab back. So let's head to a new planet. While we're doing that, we'll get the crab fixed. So let's go to star map. And we need to make our way over this way. So let's look for something. And once again, another three and a half. Or four skull planet, maybe. There's a four skull. Fifty grand. Mega city, large population manufacturing. Mm, yeah, let's do that. It's 18 days. But we're going to be sitting for a bit while we're waiting for the crab to get fixed. Um, New Oslo, 14 days. Pirate presence. That's only a half skull, though. That's 19 days. Manufacturing, rich, research, hallucinatory vegetation. I was with, oh, still one skull though. There's two and a half. One. I guess we go to Ruben then. Yeah, I can't really think of anywhere else. Let's do Bruben. Let's go. By your command. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what we can do with the King Crab. It's got so many hard points. Uh, so glad that we don't have to do all that now in the new version. 777,000. keep going here so um, yeah King Crab I mean it'd be nice to put a couple of ultra tens one on each arm if we have them I don't think we do but that would kind of be cool we could do the uh, AC 20s Raider gains 200 experience yeah nine days I mean the other thing too is to put Gauss rifles in it And then we got to figure out what it was like tons of missile hard points too, right? Could load a pair of Thunderbolt 20s in if we have them. It'd be nice if we had two arrow systems. We could put two arrows in it and then something heavy on the arms. But it would have been nice to have rack fives on the arms or something. Let's see what we got here. All right, uh, we're gonna leave the store for now. Normally I check it, but there's no reason to. Don't have anything we really want. Let's go to the mech bays. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. All right, King Crab, where are you? Dun -dun -dun -dun, right here. We still got to outfit this catapult, too. But let's do the King Crab first. And refit. Okay. Now, first things first. We're going to need an engine. Let's put this endo steel in first. Um, maybe the spa liner. Reduce the damage taken. Probably a good idea. Um, we need a clan XL engine though. I don't think we do we have any clan I don't think we have any clan XL stuff, but we do have a double heat sink kit, so we're okay there. Uh, clan exchangers, so we've got lots of good stuff for this guy. Could add the command console on this guy too, right? Accuracy with indirect fire, not a big deal. Injury resist, initiative. Let's just put it here for now. Maybe we use it, maybe we don't. Uh, engine now though. Oh, watchdog suite clan. Just gonna toss a few things in. I'm gonna put that there for now. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a lot of this will be changing. Probably a 300 engine at least. It's gotta be a minimum of 300, I think. And then the double heatsink kit. Definitely gonna need that. All right, where are you here? Um, here we go. Okay, clan double heat sinks, and let's go to weapons now. See what else we have. Uh, actually, what can we put in for arms? I think it's just the upper arm, right? Upper energy. Can we do lower arms? We can. So we're just gonna go lower arms for now. I don't know if we have laser AMS. That's kind of cool too, right? Just for now. Um, all right, let's have a look at our ballistics here. So we've got two ballistic points on each arm. So what do we have? We have AC-20 precision ammo. Do we have racks? What do we have? We have one Ultra 10. Oh, the rotary auto cannon, two pirates. Heat 22, damage 20 times four. Recoil of three. I thought it had... Why does it say six recoil? I thought this thing fired six times. Am I hovering over the wrong one? I am. There it is there. Right. You know, well, we got rack fives too, right? Rotary AC5 pirate. That's 50 heat though. Thirty-six heat, forty times four. Recoil of eight, damage plus or minus ten. Six shots, two hundred forty damage for fifty heat. One hundred and sixty damage, two tons less. But then we have to add all the ammo in too, right? The racks would be nice, but all the ammo you'd need to feed these things. You need like six tons of ammo per... Well, for this you'd need like three tons of ammo, probably. Let's drop some rack fives in. I guess we can't use a com... Oh, we can use a combat shield still, okay. Let's drop a couple of rotary fives in. We do have clan Goss rifles too, right? Twelve tons each. Hmm. See, with the rack fives, we're not going to have much else. Got this guy too, right? Plus or minus seven damage. Cluster of six projectiles. It says 14 times two, because it fires twice, right? You know what? Let's try
Because then we don't have to worry about ammo explosion. It's a little lighter too, right? So this fires five projectiles times two. So it needs double ammo, right? So if we look at our ammo for Gauss rifles, we need at least three tons per. It's pretty close though. That gives us eight turns per. This gives us 10 turns per. And does we have any Gauss rifle ammo in the store? I hope so. Ammo. Gauss. Half ton. This is no such thing as Gauss precision, eh? That's going to be 12 turns. Or is that going to be enough? By two. So let's drop two more tons of gas ammo in. Like I said, I don't know if that would like. That's eight turns, twelve turns, and then another four, two more, so fourteen turns of gas continuous firing. Um, using up like no heat so now we can put some energy weapons on we don't really have much tonnage left but what do we have energy weapon wise that we could use here so medium heavy lasers lots of heat though uh, clan ER larges are always a win 60 pinpoint damage for 4 tons um, I think we're going to be pulling that command console out. If we go two ER la large lasers, it's so nice though. I mean, we could pull the combat shield, but the thing about this is the co with the with the combat shield in and the spawn liner in, that's minus twenty five percent damage, right? Continuously, the armor on this is already pretty good. I don't think we need to add more. Not at this point, anyway. We need to get a gyro, a good gyro, and another engine here. So, do we have a regular XL gyro? Uh, I thought we did. Uh, gyro defense, gyro XL. Here we go. Okay. So that's going to save us a bit of tons. Only three, eh? Um, Don't have any Clan XL engines, eh? I guess we use them all. Um, put the Clan Exchanger in. So we still got tons of heat space, like heat left we can use. Let's drop this back armor down a bit. Maybe not that much. Wait, why is it so... Does the spawn armor add to weight of the armor? It does, 15%. That's interesting. Hmm, okay, so weapons. What else can we throw on? I mean, we could just put a couple of... Um, what can we put on here? Medium pulses, eh. Large ER pulse. I mean, we got these good PPCs too, right? Heavy PPCs. I mean, what if we build do a heavy PPC build on this guy instead? It's only 10 tons. We need a hell of a lot more heat sinks, but it's still 100 pinpoint damage.
But you know what? We haven't used these high, hyper velocity Gauss rifles yet. So maybe we keep this build first. Then if we don't like it, we can go to a heavy PPC build. So let's just do that. We're going to keep this build first. Um, what do we put in here? A couple of regular mediums, I guess. It's like 16 heat for that, though. Um, yeah, maybe like that. Like without the... Um, I know we're not jumping, but maybe we do this and get some get some evasion. Requires partial wing system, so we can't use that. Could put a regular XL engine in, but one additional free slot. We don't have the space for it. Hmm. Pirate engine. That won't fit. What does this give us? We'd have to pull the XL gyro, I guess. Just for the sake of argument. Yeah, we'd have to pull the XL gyro too. So we can't do that. Oh god, what do we do here? It still seems so underwhelming, but I guess these hypervelocity Gauss rifles, if you think about it, it's doing five doing ten times twelve damage. Plus or minus six. Falls off to thirty five percent their maximum damage at range. But the thing is is this guy's gonna be moving in from a distance. So unless he's close, these things are gonna be relatively ineffectual. Yeah. Heavy PPC build then, maybe? If we go with heavy PPCs. Let's just see this for a second here. Pull all the Gauss ammo out. Leave the secondary build. And we go with the heavy PPCs here. Here they are. Yeah, our heat efficiency drops off sharply, but that can be solved easily enough. Um, so we can put in another exchanger. Apparently we can't, what is that? We can't mix what? Thermal exchanger 3 and thermal clan together. So then it would have to be, man, this is a tough choice. Could use the clan double heat sinks, right? Then we can use like a heat bank. Still though, it's like way overheated. But two ER large clans and two heavy PPCs is pretty heavy like a hefty damage build, plus we'd be going before assault mechs. Medium laser, so if we're going to go with long range, um, what else do we have for long range besides like ER lasers? I mean, we could go with missiles. We could go with the NARC for a tag. LRM-15 launcher, clan, with a, like, ton and a half of ammo. Yeah, we don't really have the Thunderbolts for this. It'd be nice if we had uh, a couple of Thunderbolt 20s. MMLs too, right? 8 times 7. 3 tons. 
You put a pair of MML fives. What's the range? Six hundred and ninety meters. Damage fall off though. Merm thirties. Pair of Merm tens. Three tons each. Couple tons of ammo. Cannot use Deadfire and Artemis ammo or Artemis TTS. This would at least keep us maximum range 510 though. At least keep us at long distance, right? What about that Clan XL engine though? I gotta take it out of one of the other mechs, I guess. Well, MRM tens, I don't know, like kind of underwhelming. Thunderbolt ten, forty-five damage for six tons. IATM. Like, like that's a good weapon to use right there. What if we use an IATM three and an LRM fifteen? We have just enough room for ammo and case. Um, We have case here anywhere. We do case two clan requires clan armor. Regular case. So if we do this, let's say, put the case here. And then we go with two tons of ammo, which should give us like 11 turns of continuous fire. Now, I don't know if I can use accuracy LRM ammo, though. Can I? I can with that. Can use special ammo, but not TTS. Oh, that's fine. So let's do uh, sorry we want to go check the store see if they got LRM accuracy ammo I don't remember if they did or not let's go down to the bottom here uh, SRMs LRMs yep right there 57,000 they ripped me off here guys all right, plus one accuracy ammo and regular ammo, and then we add a bit of armor. I think that's it. So we go one, two, three, four. Definitely want some on the legs there. A bit more in the CT, I guess. CT back. This ball liner is going to make me go over no matter what I do. All right, so we're going to leave it there, I guess. 0.6 tons under, but that's not a, that's not bad though, I guess. We've got the TT plus, TTS plus energy to make the heavy PPCs more accurate. Now, do we have weapon mounts? I can't remember if we had any left over. I don't think we did. With the upper energy, which doesn't really, it's not really worth it while using it on this guy. Nope, no weapon mounts. That's fine. Upper, yeah. All right, that's fine. So once we can get a Clan XL engine in this thing, which I'm sure I'll just pull off one of my other, one of my other guys and put a pirate engine in the other guy, then we'll be set to go. So overall, stealth is like a, what one, one. Well, better than nothing, I guess. 
it's going to be relatively easy to hit, but because we got, uh, we're going to have minus 20% damage taken, plus the uh, laser AMS, which will reduce damage from missile attacks um, and defense against missile attacks. So it's half damage right away from missiles. I think this guy is pretty defensible. Relatively good sustained firepower with two ER larges and two heavy PPCs. Heat should be pretty good. Well, I mean, it could be better. We just have to cycle with the heavy PPCs a bit, I think. All right, let's go this route. Let's confirm this, 17 days. All right, guys, so we're going to let that go. And between episodes, we'll get this guy up and running. Uh, wait, we've got two extra catapults, right? Yeah, we do. Proto double heat sinks. Thunderbolt 15. Oh, wait, this is our catapult. Is it? Yeah, this is the one that we had... Right, this is the one that we got dam we had damage we haven't repaired yet. So let's just repair that real quick. So he's got the Klein XL engine in him. So double heat sink. I'm sure we've got double heat sinks here. Heat sink double. Drop it back in here. And we're back running again. Let's get this guy repairing. Got to get that arrow system back in place. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay, so let's manage our tasks a bit here. So our catapult and king crab. So king crab can come right to the top and the catapult can come up to the second slot. Then the Zeus, Wolverine, Hunchback, Bushwhacker, Jager Mech. Jager Mech can come up a little closer, I think. Like that. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're gonna end the episode here. Next time when we come back, we're gonna take a mission with this king crab. Um, we got enough money to survive the next financial report. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll pull off another medium lance mission. So maybe we should, uh, we'll pull off the medium lance mission first, I think. Let's bring these guys to the top, get them done. Um, actually, let's do it this way. Right? Like that. That way they'll be back in three days. Actually, let's just do that now. And then, um, so that Lance is back and we can run a mission with them again for the next episode. Hopefully we can pull off some good sea bills off the next episode. Um, and we don't have to worry about the money we just spent <laughs> and waiting for the financial report to go on for the King Crab to get back. Um, and then we can run that crab and see how it works in a five skull mission. All right, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you any, have any suggestions now that you've seen most of the weapons I have for like for a King Crab loadout that you want to see me try, the Hyper Velocity, um, not convinced that's the best route to go with this guy right now. Maybe we'll try it again before the end of the, the 100 episodes, but we'll see. Um, so just put some comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.